The Housewife by Charlotte Anna Perkins Gilman 1860 to 1935 Here is the house to hold me Cradle of all the race Here is my lord and my love Here are my children dear Here is the house enclosing The dear love dwelling place Why should I ever weary For aught that I find not here? Here for the hours of the day And the hours of the night Bound with the bands of duty riveted tight Duty older than Adam, duty that saw acceptance utter and hopeless in the eyes of the serving squaw. Food and the serving of food, that is my day-long care. What and when we shall eat, what and how we shall wear. Soiling and cleaning of things. That is my task in the main. Soil them and clean them and soil them, soil them and clean them again. To work at my trade by the dozen, and never a trade to know. To plan like a Chinese puzzle, fitting and changing so. To think of a thousand details, each in a thousand ways for my own immediate people and a possible love and praise. My mind is trodden in circles, tiresome, narrow and hard, useful, commonplace, private, simply a small backyard. I am the mother of nations, blind their struggle and vain. I cover the earth with my children, each with a housewife's brain. Okay, this is by Charlotte Perkins Gilman. Um, let's see, she's an American. She was uh, brought up mostly in Rhode Island. Uh, and then I think she spent uh, some of her later years in California. Um, she She's known as... Um, one of the first feminists in the United States. Um, she had uh, r quite radical ideas and she put down, uh, or she set concepts and lifestyles for independent women. So, the housewife. Well, as the title says, this, this is about being a housewife. This is about the so-called duties or obligations of a housewife. And uh, effectively she's um, describing um, how she is only, uh, uh, only expected to be uh, the mother to the children, to procreate children and to look after her family. And she's not expected to have any perspectives further than that. Here is the house to hold me, cradle of all the race. So I think already, here is the house to hold me. Well, it's somewhere where I can live, but I think already it holds me back. The cradle, the place, uh, the place of, of birth or the place for, for the babies of all the race. Now, in this, Firstly, you think the human race, all humans. But I'm pretty sure here she's referring to womankind as her race. Here is my lord and my love. Here are my children dear. So this is where my lord and my love. You might first think she's talking about God, but she's talking about her husband. Yeah, Here is my husband and my love. Here are my darling children. Here is the house enclosing, the dear love dwelling place. 
I think she's almost being she's being ironic here. Yeah, she's being sar sarcastic. The house that encloses, that keeps in, um, keeps everything in, and this is the place that uh, I'm supposed to love. For why should I ever weary for aught that I find not here? Yeah, because the house is supposed to be everything for me. And why should I ever get tired of it? Why should I ever want aught, anything, that I don't find here? And this is society's idea that a woman should not look for anything outside of the home. And uh, she's clearly criticising this. Here for the hours of the day and the hours of the night, bound with the bands of duty, riveted tight. So, she spends all of her time here. It's like a prison. Yeah, all of the day, all of the day and all of the night. Yeah, she's on duty 24 hours a day or at least on call. And she's bound, she's tied with the bands, with the handcuffs of duty. And these are riveted tight. To rivet is to join two pieces of metal together, normally by banging a hole through the two of them and then putting a metal rivet in place. So clearly, riveted, it's talking about metal bands. Yeah, she's, got ha she's wearing handcuffs, the handcuffs of uh, her duty. Duty older than Adam. So this is this duty or this is something that women have been doing since before Adam came, yeah? Because uh, Adam had a mother, clearly. Duty that saw acceptance, utter and hopeless, in the eyes of the serving squaw. Okay, a squaw is the wife of an American Indian. So... This is uh, this duty is something that has to be completely, utterly, and hopelessly accepted. Yeah, there's no uh, way round this, or well, that's how um, people are believed. Uh, women are, but uh, this is what women, what is believed to be the w role of women, or what was believed to be the role of women. Um, and I think she uses squaw here to indicate that the squaws of the Indians, um, they did exactly the same thing and they were completely servile to their husbands, exactly as she is. Food and the serving of food, that is my day-long care. So she spends her life worrying about what uh, what what are we going to eat? When are we going to eat it? What and when shall we eat? What and how shall we wear? So, household duties, what to wear, what to eat. Soiling and cleaning of things, that is my task in the main. So, my job is to make things dirty and to clean them again. I think make things dirty you make things dirty when you cook, yeah? And then you have to clean it again. Soil them and clean them and soil them. Soil them and clean them again. So notice her use of repetition to amplify the monotony of her life, that her, her life is just mm, making things dirty and cleaning things. Cleaning the house, washing the clothes making things dirty and cleaning them again and again. To work at my trade by the dozen and never a trade to know. So, by the dozen, to work at doing this by the dozen are uh, as if she was working in a factory. Yeah? Um, and she's uh, doing her work, doing her trade uh, as fast as she can the whole time and never a trade to know but she doesn't have what uh, a trade or what society would consider a true profession 
the trade profession. To plan like a Chinese puzzle, fitting and changing so. So her life is like trying to do a Chinese puzzle, changing it around, trying to find uh, solutions, maybe when things don't fit. To think of a thousand details, each in a thousand ways. So I'm responsible for thinking about thousands of details and I've got to uh, think about different ways of doing these thousands of details for my own immediate people and a possible love and praise. So for my, my family, for my husband and for my children and maybe, just maybe, they will notice what I've done and uh, love me and praise me for all the work I do. It's not fair, clearly. My mind is trodden in circles, tiresome, narrow and hard, useful, commonplace, private, simply a small backyard. So trodden from to tread to walk, my mind is stepped on in circles, the cir daily circle of life, yeah, uh, the daily routine. And I go round and round in a circle. This reminds me of perhaps uh, a horse or a donkey uh, going round, uh, is tied to a mill. So m my mind is walked on in the same way again and again it's tiresome it's boring it's narrow there there is n there is no opportunity to do something different and it's hard and it's very useful and it's commonplace everybody does this and it's private because this is my family simply a small backyard and here she's describing her home, whole life as just a small garden, a small backyard. It's, so she's imprisoned in a small backyard. And I, and I, the mother of nations, blind their struggle and vain. So I, I, I give birth to nations. I make the country what it is. Um, uh, and I don't think about the struggle of the nation or the vanity of the nation. I, I can't be proud, even though I'm the mother of the nation. I cover the earth with my children. So her, her duty is to give birth to children, each with a housewife's brain. And another of her duties is to enslave all of her daughters into this way of thinking, to teach them that this is their duty and what they have to do. So enough. If you enjoyed the video, give it a rating, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you soon. The Housewife by Charlotte Anna Perkins Gilman. Bye for now.